All right, hey, Shalom Akiyam. First and foremost, I give all praises to you. How about Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Samu Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushing this knowledge in sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ, who, whose real name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Shai. Okay? And what you're looking at is a true depiction of who the word ignorantly called God, who the word ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the most sign your son, you must say Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. All right. First and foremost, I give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And Brakte Yahweh, Brakte Yahweh Shai. Brakte Yahweh, Brakte Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he to be, or he is. Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai means he delivers. All right, coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. You know, I'm going to jump right into it, man. All right, a lot of things are going on. And the main focal point of this lesson is going to be about the whole situation that happened with that hurricane it happened a couple of days ago and there's more rain on the way all these things are written in the scriptures and we're hearing that uh, those different towns that got washed away that got messed up is mainly where these Edomites are at sundown towns so on and so forth man giving all praise to Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai because you Edomites you, you gotta go man you know Jake two thirds of people they, they, they're a problem they're a serious problem but the Lord got him like that for a reason, so he could judge him. But you Edomites, man, you, you're the and number one enemy to Yahweh by Shemiah Washai. You're the number one enemy to the nation of Israel, the so-called white race. And you're going to get your just due in due time. So we're going to start off with 2 Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're going to hold that point real quick. Get to some images that we are watching, and it is hard to really do anything at this moment that is more important than this. Look at what our fellow Americans are going through and, and dealing with today. This, this image is from Rutherford County, North Carolina. It, it just is an entire section of neighborhood completely ripped apart. The official who shot this video says that the area is post-apocalyptic and that they, quote, don't even know how to fathom what recovery looks like here. First to senior correspondent Steve Harrigan, who is on the ground covering all of this from Asheville, North Carolina. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Giving all praises to y'all by Shemiah Washai. Now, peep this. I really don't think y'all understand how bad it is in the southeast right now. We have towns that don't exist anymore. Chimney Rock is, is gone. The city of Asheville is cut off from the world. This, this is not an exaggeration. All the bridges leading into the city have been washed away. They have no food, no power, no water, no internet, no cell service. They don't even have radio. It's a, com it's a complete, like, dead zone. Uh, no one knows what's going on in there. I don't think I'm being dramatic when I say that this is a Hurricane Katrina-level event. Uh, there was a woman in my town who called for an ambulance, and the ambulance got stranded. And they were stranded for, like, 24 hours, and to my knowledge, the patient didn't make it. Pe people are dying. Uh, they're still dying. I've been running the generator for the last three days, and we're starting to run out of gas. And this is on Highway 123, heading from Aisley to, uh, to Greenville. And this was a one-mile-long line to get gas because they were the only people we knew around that had gas left. I got all the way to the end, and they were out. They had no gas. We checked every gas station in Pickens and Aisley and, and Liberty. Nothing. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of gas, i tell you that much. Try to steal some from my car maybe to keep my food cold, but even then, I don't know. This is the I-40 bridge, you know, from Tennessee to North Carolina. It's 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 gone. It don't exist no more either. Um, we have people dying out here. Man, we we need help. We need help. I really don't think help. Need help. You Edomites, man. You you ain't gonna get no help. Fucking you don't get no help, man. What crazy how about Shimia was shy? All right, and he answered me then 
And it said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So this is all of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Whether it's heart, whatever the fuck you people in you. It's of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and these things are happening on a constant basis, then, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. It is clear, it is evident, that America society is out of here. Okay? The American government is sending aid to all you different countries and can't even help their own because this place is out of here. They, they have pulled the plugs on America. America has it reached the point that it's supposed to uh, reach. Ultimately, Yahweh Shimei was shot. And this place is going to be destroyed from the inside out. A lot of things are going, are going, going to continue to happen to this place. To you Americans, to you Edomites, to two-thirds of our wicked-ass people out here. To where it's going to lead to thermonuclear destruction. A lot more deaths, a lot, of, a lot more catastrophes. A famine is coming to this place. Civil unrest, civil war. A new world order. For like, a, like, for like as all that is made in the world at an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and ending in effects and signs and endings in effects and signs and ending in effects and signs. So we get some more videos. I got one more video. Y'all understand you. how bad it is. All right. Just, just take a look at how crazy this city looks right now. Like. This is how 90% of the roads look. 90% of the roads. Trees everywhere. Out of the, oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. This is insane work to me right here. Like, just look. Bro, that's the whole road. This is supposed to be a street. It's like... And that's the highway. How the whole fucking highway flooded? <laughs> God damn! Nah, yo, they trapped us. They trapped us in there. It's flooded all the over. The whole there. town is a power outage. None of the stores open. Oh. oh my days! Fucking three, two, There's no way to drive in or out of town. Ever. Only way is like bicycles. That's the whole rip, the street, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Jesus. Let me get out of your. No, you're fine. I'm, I'm praying sorry. for this town. I'm praying for this town. Did you see Damn. The whole fucking pool. Yeah, that's what it's looking like out there, man. You know, people farms is gone, the animals is gone. That's mainly where these Edomites are at, man. Motherfuckers. We ain't praying for this town. We're not praying for this place. We, we, we're going to continue to send up curses on this place, man. All right? This is Isaiah chapter 25, verse 4. No, no, that ain't it. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 2. Behold, the Lord had a mighty and strong one, which has a tempest of hail and a destroying storm. And a destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, which shall cast down to the earth with the hand. All praises Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right. So this is this is all the works of the Most High Yahweh by Shimei Shai. For you Israelites out here, because this word is only for Israel, you need to repent. It's going to get worse and worse. 
Isaiah chapter 29, verse 5. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So that's how the Most High is visiting the earth right now before the second coming of who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Shai. And these things are going to continue to increase. So Lord willing is an edifying lesson is short to the point. You know, we're looking forward to this strike that's about to happen tonight. Let's see what transpired. If it goes past a week, then you know the economy is going to be affected. So Lord will, man, Yahweh by Shimia was shy, Lord, allow this strike to happen. And various other things that's gonna happen. And um, yeah, man, it's gonna be one hell of a ride. But the most side, Yahweh by Shimia was shy is gonna take care of the elect. Even if you face death, some of us gonna be, be risen up, or some of us gonna, you know, be have to uh, go down as martyrs. You understand what I'm saying? But Yahweh by Shimia was shy is gonna take care of his because it has written that way. Those has been predestined, preordained to stand firm to the very end, even if it means death. Shalom.